Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore the tilt shift filter inside of Photoshop. But first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. Now, tilt shift lenses have been around for a long time and they were primarily used for architecture. Just jump over to the Google and type in a search and you'll see how people have traditionally approached this type of photography. But within the past several years, portrait photographers have started to use these tilt shift lenses to create some really interesting and creative effects to their images. Now I don't have a tilt shift lens, so I'm going to try to emulate this particular look inside of Photoshop. Let's begin by looking at this image of the church. I'm going to duplicate this background layer with the command or control J on the keyboard. Next, I'm going to right click and convert that to a smart object so that we can access smart filters. Again, the advantage to smart filters are they are fully editable and come with layer masks. Let's go to the filter menu, select blur gallery, and then tilt shift in order to explore this tool. Now we have this bullseye in the center and typically you would put that on the subject of the photograph, which we'll see in the portrait in a moment, but for now we'll just leave it about here on the church. If you place your cursor over the top or bottom bar with the white dot, you can click and drag in order to rotate this filter, which is exactly what we'd like to do in this image. Pulling up on either of those bars will extend the area that remains in focus and pulling up or down on the dotted lines will either increase or decrease the transition area. You can come over into the blur tools and impact the amount of blur with this slider, but you can also click on the white in the bullseye and drag it in order to increase it as we see here. And when you're happy with the way that looks, you can simply press okay to return the result. And like many of the Photoshop filters, this will take a moment. And here we can look at the before and after. Naturally, you can reduce the opacity of this layer by clicking and dragging but you can also double click blur gallery in order to access the tool again, in order to make any further adjustments. I'll just say cancel to that. Now let's jump over to this portrait image. My friend Val Thomas sent me this photo. Check her workout at ValerieThomasPhotography.com. Again, let's begin by duplicating our background layer with a command or control J on the keyboard, right clicking in order to convert that to a smart object. Then going to the filter menu, choosing blur gallery and tilt shift blur. This time I'm going to move the bullseye to somewhere on the middle of her face. And I'm going to make sure that her face remains in focus by clicking these white lines and moving them as such. And because I like a little bit of tilt to this blur, I'm just gonna tilt it this way and increase it by clicking and dragging on the bullseye to get a really unique effect. And then say, okay, to return that result. Let's look at the before and after. And remember, this is just about getting creative with your portraits. This is not something you would wanna do on every photo. And also, let's double click to get back in here. I need you to have a little bit of aesthetic awareness. You don't wanna do something that's really wacky or makes things look completely abnormal and over the top. Let's say okay to return this. And let's look at the before and after. Okay, this does not look good. And this is what I mean by aesthetic awareness. If it doesn't look good, don't do it. This video was meant to just have some fun using creative techniques inside of Photoshop. I'll see you in the next video.